It's big, it's bold, and it has a stylus. That's right, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note for AT&T here. You've heard the rumors about this behemoth with its honkin' HD display, and they're all true. It's a sort of awkward 5.3 inches for my hands, and I can say that the Note is sticking a chubby toe into tablet territory here. Otherwise, it pretty much looks like somebody overfed a Samsung Galaxy S2 phone. The Note does step it up a notch, though, with Samsung's HD Super AMOLED screen technology that makes for a bright and very pretty display, though I do have to say it's not quite as bright or as sharp as the 4.65-inch screen on the Galaxy Nexus. What it is really good for is everything multimedia, like looking at photos and watching videos, browsing without having to squint so much, and reading e-books. The phone runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread with TouchWiz on top, and it has a couple of fun extras, like being able to take a screenshot with your hand and flip over the phone to pause or mute. You can also perform a few tricks with the stylus, which lives in a snug little tunnel on the back of the phone. Its official name is the S Pen, and I have to say, it's pretty small and very thin. I personally find the S Pen accessory, known as the S Pen Holder Kit, much more comfortable, but for 50 bucks, you have to be really dedicated to using a pen to draw and write. Both drawing and writing are pretty fun on the Galaxy Note, but I won't lie to you, there is a little bit of a learning curve with the handwriting apps, which turned my already stunted writing into total chicken scratch, unless I really concentrated hard on my penmanship. I do like that you can handwrite in almost any text field and that there is a tool for converting handwriting to text, or at least attempting to convert handwriting to text anyway. It won't work perfectly every time. I also like the navigation tricks and other shortcuts that are built into the stylus, like taking a screenshot and pulling up the menu. Drawing is pretty fun as well, and there's support for over 150 levels of pressure. The rest of the phone specs are also good, especially the excellent 8 megapixel camera and the 2 megapixel front facing camera. There's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor as well, and an extra large battery to help feed that huge screen. The Galaxy Note is one of AT&T's 4G LTE phones, so it really is quite the extra large package. I think that $300 is a fair price for all the top notch features and for the S Pen extras. However, if you're not into Jumbotron phones, then stay far away from this one. And if you do like them big, but you don't see yourself using the pen, I say give it a try anyway. You're not missing out on the general smartphone experience if you never slip out the stylus. That pretty much does it for the Samsung Galaxy Note. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt, and you can read all the pros and cons in my full review on CNET.com. Hey guys, Brian Tong here, and if you're looking to see the top dogs in tech face off, then you need to watch CNET's prize fight. We'll throw touchscreen phones in the ring, reignite the console wars, battle web browsers, and more. So you can find it all at CNET.com slash prize fight, and I'll see you there. Woo